is pretty. Still makes things pretty. And if it's the right type of snow, it can be very fun. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I live in a rented apartment so I can't control my own temperature. I can lower the temperature of my radiators, but that's it. Hmm. I think the lowest temperature I had in my apartment while living here was like two years ago maybe and uh, I kept telling my landlord it was cold and my landlord was like eh, it's fine it's more cold in the bedroom no problem ish maybe not with those words or that attitude but it says something similar anyway and uh, temperature reached like 17.5 celsius uh, and i like tossed the whole um, according to public health and safety uh, if it's colder than 18 if it's 18 degrees or colder for any longer amount of time a uh, human is very likely to suffer hypothermia and getting sick. So a few de days after that, uh, finally the temperature got up a bit to 23 Celsius, which was very pleasant. But it took me about a month for them to actually take any action. Yay, landlords. Cheapskate landlords. But nowadays, or at least currently, I'm at about 20, 21. Ugh. I mean, when I was younger, I definitely appreciated the cold a lot more. Had nothing against it being cold at all. Nowadays, I'm like, it's less than 20, I'm freezing. I guess age and mental uh, stuff really affects your uh, temperature sensitivity. I wonder what the, um, like, master rank or whatever these count as? Mm -hmm. I have, um, quote unquote, I have a hand-me-down blanket that I got from my grandma. It's very good for temperature adjustment. Um, in addition to that, I also have, uh, What's it called? A comforter? The uh, thinner blanket type of thing you put on top of the bed to make it look decorative. I have one of those, uh, double folded, or if it's quadruple folded. Folded once and then once again. Uh, that's like over my feet and legs. Because in recent years my feet get horribly cold. Often, anyway. Not always, but often. Something about circulation or whatever. Heck. Other uh, awesome ailments. 
Um, my the back of my right hip. If it gets cold, it hurts. Oh! Unbelievable! Whoopsie! Maybe I should go and get some more birdies. Yes. No, don't try to cheer me up. Where? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Indeed. We'll decrease the rewards, though. Here's another dog rock. But no small dog rock. Why are there dog rocks here? In hindsight, they might be supposed to be foxes. As with the kitsune that lives here. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Am I really surprised? Oh wait, have I been here? Okay, I probably have. Ah, I was thinking about swords. Fight <laughs> 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 yeah, noises. But yeah, um, again, in hindsight, they are probably supposed to be fox shaped since there's a fox on this map. Maybe? Either that or maybe some kind of quote unquote homage to the Palamute? Hmm. Hmm. Thinker, thinker, thinker. Well, I don't want to die again, so. Bird collection time. Let's see they're down there. <laughs> also, with all of these statues here, I guess they're more dog-like than fox-like. But there are so many here, I feel like there should be a sword somewhere, and I don't remember finding one here. Like, I was expecting one to be like on top of any of these rocks, but I haven't been able to find one. Because there are like so many of them. But I can't really climb the rocks either. What? Bird collecting. <laughs> and down here. One and two. I hope Master Hojo is down there. Master Hojo is a raunchy old man. He's doing fine. So the characters say different things when you hit them, whether by accident or by on purpose. And Master Hodra is lo just like, uh, I like your spirit or something. Can't quite remember if that's what he says, but uh, saying that when you punch him. Eh, eh. Oh, nothing to stand on there. See uh, some birds here. You can't get in behind here. No, not possible. Hmm. Be 
do. I want to remember those things usually being red. Well, here we are. Ooh, red stuff. Let's see. And I've been on top of that tree and found a sword. Pretty sure I can't get up on that tree. Don't think I can. Yeah, no. Invisible wall. Watch this, though. Uh, I guess it's nothing. Do -de -do -de -do. Shrooms. Bug. Bird. I don't need money. I need XP. Something that money can't buy. Where? What the? What the? Come on. There we go. I don't like how one of the extra monsters of this map is a fucking monkey. I don't mind the uh, uh, mud dragon. No problems with that guy. I don't get why my playing partner hates him so much though. Oh yeah, he did say something about he can't read their movements or something. Eh. I know! A permanently angry monkey. The worst kind. Oh, and he's gone. Hooray! <laughs> now we got the blood uh, vampire dragon instead. <laughs> hmm. The noises of those girls. Uh, there's usually a brew hair somewhere around these parts. A thong. <laughs> oh, there we go. Feels like somewhere in the scaffolding there should be a sword. But how precise would I want to have? I mean, in some of these situations, incredibly precise. Okay, so you can stand here. That's that's good. First step. Uh, yuck. Hmm. Because I feel like there has to be a sword up there. Because like there's, you can jump on them. They are there. I overshot it. Try it again. Well, I don't think I saw us over there. On that particular one, so... I'm just gonna keep uh, trying to jump on the other one. Okay. 
Okay, we're on the ceiling. Progress. Now then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Careful. Okay, so you can walk here. There's no invisible wall. This would be a perfect place for a sword. Is it snack time yet? Break time? That's right up my alley. Don't see one on that one. So unless it's on a ceiling here. Well, keep going. Just, just there. Yeah, good, good. Really? I came all this way for nothing. Why must you do this to me? You cruel game. I mean, later when I maybe have lawful in the chat. They just tell me, yeah, there's a sword there. You just missed it. Dumb. I want to try and get on top of these roofs. Well, I guess it will have to wait until later. We have a Mitsune to hunt. Yes, it was so red for a moment. I thought it was the I thought it was the uh, the dragon. What have I been hitting with us? Oh, off the ground, maybe. I guess the ground would wear it down a little bit. Yeah. I mean, when I do go sword exploring, I usually do end up uh, getting to at least 40 minutes. Has happened several times by now. Uh, usually I kind of prepare for it though, by first bringing the monster down to blue health, or like the blue monster head thingy. So I won't have a hard time actually murdering it later when I'm done exploring. I'm trying to remember, but has there been uh, Monster Hunter stages where you have more than 50 minutes? I know like in Expeditions you have an infinite amount of minutes. But I kind of want to remember something like 60, 80, 90, 180. Well, 89 ain't that bad. I need to get to level 100 and something. 21? I think I was supposed to unlock something. Ah, sucks to be you. Tee hee, sucks to be you. Tee hee, sucks to be you. Tee hee, sucks to be you. Sucks to be you, Mitsune. I don't know how that song actually goes. I don't know if that was the right end or not. Something, something, skip, skimmer, or blah. English song. There's so many bubbles here. There's a rocket in the wall. Is it even doing anything? Two, and one, 
one, two, and uh, three. One, two. Get the room, you two. Getting about 400 at least in there, which is the double jump. If I do them both hits. stoic of the monsters to you break their claws you break their back you chop off a part of their body just lies on the ground and they just keep carrying on it's like yeah, not fleeing away from the map even if they could it's like nope I'm gonna stay and fight Blech. One, two, and a three, and it goes away. We have to get it away. Sharpen it till it's shining. The person I'm playing with keeps saying that uh, Monster Hunter Rise, everything moves much faster. Uh, my first impression when I started playing was that the character you play as moves very slowly compared to like the running in world but I don't know if I was correct about that or not uh, at least I think we're in agreement that the monsters move faster like with their attacks and stuff Die, Coon. T. No, it just runs away. Mm. Dang it. Like, it kind of looks like it's putting on a laser show, but it's like a water jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, like, uh, regular just running speed is, I think, much slower than in World. Which I imagine is to uh, encourage players to use the dogs for travel. And or the bugs. Drifting laser is awesome. So dumb. So fluid movements. What's that? Oh, a mud dragon. That's either a very small mud dragon or a quite large Mitsutsuna. Go, Leviathans, fight! Hmm, true, true. Uh, something I don't appreciate they did in this game. Uh, they nerfed the Ostra. So that Magna Malo would be more intimidating. I guess that's the reason. Because Magna Malo has, uh, I mean, hell fire. But that's just blast flight again. Meanwhile, Teostra doesn't have Blast Blight anymore, it just has regular Fire Blight. 
I... Blah, blah, blah. I do not appreciate that at all. Similar to how they remove the uh, Kushala... No, that's not the right one. It's not Kushala. It's a uh, Sha Sha Sha... Shagaru Magala. How they remove the flashbang that one had. Like, the flashbang was one of the better parts of it. It's like, ooh, fancy heaven, angelic light. As opposed to the Gore Magala, that's the opposite. It's all over for you. Eh. Okay, let's see, I died once to this thing. The colors looks like sugar marzipan kind of candy. Like a pretty cake. Yeah. Not appreciated. I'm just gonna hide behind the Mizutsuna and hope that thing goes Thanks, away. Buddy. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, it does. I mean, oops. Oh, really? Um, it's the Curio thing. They make it red. So, this is its normal state. Dang it. I was hoping to knock it into the other dragon so I could uh, use the other dragon to beat up the Misutsuda. That did not happen. I guess a good joke would have been about something about the blood draining from all of my slicing. Get out of there! But that wouldn't be true. Back. Going down. So many bubbles! Bubbles are great. Uh, like bubbles. It pays to care for your weapon. Fine weapon deserves proper care. It's almost been uh, 30 minutes already. Time show flies. Hey, hey. I know I can sever your chain. Me or the dragon yawning? Sorry, I can't remember if I already if, if I did that. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's 9.05. I've been awake since 4 p.m. yesterday. Um, math. Thanks, buddy. Math. Duh. 4 to 4, that's 12. 9, that's 17 hours. Uh, I guess. If there's 24 hours in a day, 17. Nice. That's three. That's seven hours left, right? Yeah, seven, seven, fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when Iceborne had released and I started playing that, uh, I played the 
Monster Hunter World Iceborne for what could it have been? 36 hours straight? Or if it was like 40 hours straight or something? Good times! And then my body just tries to remind me that hey, you're not 18 anymore. Ooh, tail off! Iceborne? I mean, I beat the last boss. Out of all of the uh, extra DLC dragons, I have not beaten all of those. Because some are near impossible to do. Egg. But I think out of all the dragons you can beat out of the DLCs and stuff. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. It's still Monster Hunter. 36 hours is nothing in these games. Especially the way I play. Well, I... Uh, I like exploring. It's like, ooh, a little crevasse. I wonder if there might be anything inside. I also like befriending the cats in the world. That's really neat. Blech. Explosion. Egg. Hmm, is there anything else we can break on this one now? Watch out. I mean, it's not unusual for me to play some games at least uh, in like 12 hour sessions, 8 to 12 hour sessions, like pretty normal. Because uh, I don't play games often, but when I do, it's intensely. With the uh, Monster Hunter Rise, though, I mostly limited it to the weekends. So when I play, I first play with uh, this person over in Asia. And then if I feel like playing more, I end up doing these kind of sessions. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I guess that makes it... I think I played for about 13 or 14 hours then. Because I did a stream earlier. And then I had my walkies. And food. And then I started playing this and it's been like... 10 hours since then. Gotta say... We've been punting this one a lot, and it still has a lot of health left. And we're nearing the 35 minute mark. Heck. Like, dang, girl. That's a lot of health. Please die. Uh, I think we'll start with this. And then we chug one of these. See if we can make it on time. 
with you. This guy. There we go. No! Not into the wall, into the other monster. There we go. Good boy. I like the Elmarbron. It's kinda neat. Bam! More. Beat that thing. I need it to die. Okay. We're brought him down to blue. That's good. I think that's about 20% left. One, and two, and ouch. And I should be back. Hopefully. There we go. So, for certain, this will have to be my last mission, because I am apparently out of disk space. <laughs> Definitely technical difficulties. I don't know how much uh, I lost in terms of data there. I think I have like 80 gig left on this disk. There we go. Um... I think I had like 200, 300, 4. How many hundreds did I have when I started? I don't know. No, I don't remember updating the version of the program. So I don't imagine it has changed any settings. Uh, I'm incredibly new to recording stuff. And I don't really know anything about uh, video quality. How to record and make the format smaller, etc. Yeah, yeah, I'm recording it. Uh, I'm uploading it on YouTube after I'm done, but it seems that similar to another session I had where I lost like about one hour, maybe two, uh, some parts of this gameplay will be lost and I don't know how many, but I think the uh, probably the warning showed up recently because my eye slash my brain hadn't taken any note of it until I looked pretty much right now and while I could try and use uh, footage from the stream uh, it looks like absolute gobshite compared to what I'm recording on the computer <laughs> so I would rather try and have the uh, actual slash proper footage from this instead which means I will have to start deleting my old video clips. Because, uh, I mean, case of YouTube, whatever. I haven't uh, deleted any of the uh, edited footage I made. I mean, by edited footage, I mean... I've cut down a 10-hour session to 1-hour clips. Fear my strength! But since both of my large hard drives are apparently very full by now, I probably gotta del start deleting them because I don't have any space to make new movie clips in. I was. Um, Kinda keeping myself to a schedule of uh, play for like the weekends and then render and uh, upload during the days, uh, the weekdays, regular ones. Uh, but then I got sick for like uh, two weeks, almost a month. And I've only just started to. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, render the video clips again 
Which means that I have about... Because uh, I was playing during the time. So I have about... Uh, I think this is 18 or 20 video files. Of very varying range of sizes. Some of them are like 200 gigs. Some are like 50 gigs. There are a lot of gigs on my hard drives. Teehee. So, I guess I'll probably just stuff this one together with the n previous one and hope there's not too much missing. I mean, nobody watches my YouTubes anyway, but I don't know. Maybe sometime in the future somebody will. Just to see how bad I was in the beginning. And they can be encouraged that, hey, if this fucking idiot can do it, then maybe I can too. Because I have like, um, I have issues with the sound as well, because of course I have. Yeah, I mean, the only reason would be if YouTube removes my stuff. But then the question would be, why would they remove my stuff? I guess that doesn't really matter. I don't know how the Wayback Machine works, but maybe I could do some kind of uh, thingy where it saved the day, or maybe. I think it's where Wayback Machine or Into the Dark or something. Like, I would be sad, but I wouldn't be completely heartbroken if my crappy YouTube clip uh, videos disappeared. Because, like, again, uh, the sound of some of them is glitching out and, like, a uh, very choppy in places. I'm not sure why that's happening. It might be because I don't have a proper sound card or something in the computer. Because this was a bu budget build. Pretty much. Like, I wanted something I could play games on, but they didn't have to be, like, the newest generation, best graphic games, 4K, whatever. <coughs> uh, oh, this one. Setting a trap! Okay, kitty cats. Get over here. Or rather, get him over here. There we go. I had an incredibly surprising uh, arena fight at one point. Where I thought I trapped two monsters in the same trap. Because uh, one monster was in a trap I saw. And then I threw the uh, sleepy bombs and both of the monsters fell asleep and the mission was complete. And I was like, what? Did I trap two monsters in the same trap? But in hindsight it looked like my cat had placed the trap as well. Oh hey, look, another Misutsuna thing. I think I have the stuff I need to make the gem now. So I'm gonna do that. And um, probably close up shop for tonight. Ooh. And do all of these things before I forget, because I most likely am, since I probably won't be playing until next weekend. Let's see, trade goods is it? No, special... Oh, there, no... Ordered, there we go. And uh, did we... No, we need to send the Miasenaris out again, did we? Yes. I mean, I can't just play games all the time. It, I do have other things to do as well, like chores and stuff. I mean, if I was making money out of it, I guess that would be kind of a 
bit of a carrot, but... Egg. No, I don't want anything here. Um, that one done, that one done. Did you have a lottery? Hi, nope. Welcome, all right. Good luck. Indeed, chores don't do themselves. Okay, that's done. Did I have enough to get gem? Create. Let's see, it was here somewhere, I think. Ah, there we go. Woohoo! Great. Then we set it in the. Uh... There we go. Huzzah! <coughs> Stun proof. And this is where I will say good night and thank you very much for watching. And I guess I have people to talk to later. Ew. Good night on you. Thanks for watching. And I probably will be streaming again next weekend. Thank you and goodbye and good night.